In this video, we're going to look at how to simplify rational functions. Remember, a rational function is just a fraction. So, simplifying rational functions is actually just like reducing a fraction. So, as you can see in this first example here, we have 8 divided by 12. And, if you remember back to elementary school when you were simplifying fractions, we would just take and factor out something that's the same in both of them. So, both those numbers can be divided by 4. So now we have 4 times 2 over 4 times 3. And we would just cancel out the 4's and we'd be left with 2 divided by 3. Now when we're looking at rational functions with variables, it's actually the exact same thing. We're going to look at what we can factor out of the tops and the bottoms of the fraction. So in this case, I have 2x plus 6 over 2x plus 10. And it should be pretty obvious that I can divide everything by 2. So I'm going to factor out a 2 on the top. So I'm left with x, 2 times x plus 3 on the top, and 2 times x plus 5 on the bottom. Now, just like in the fraction above, since I have the same thing on the top and the bottom, I can cancel those out. And I'm left with x plus 3 over x plus 5. Now, those examples were pretty simple, and we're just factoring out a simple number. However, when we're dealing with rational functions, we actually can have to simplify, factor out the problem and actually simplify out variables as well. So here's the function that I'm going to look at. We have 2x squared minus 6x minus 20 divided by 2x squared minus 50. So first thing we can look at is probably going to have to divide everything by 2 again. But let's actually take a look at it. So we're going to factor the top and the bottom of this function. First thing I'm going to do is I am going to factor out the 2's because it's going to make my factoring of the quadratic a little bit easier. So I have x squared minus 3x minus 10 and on the bottom I have 2 times x squared minus 25. Now I'm going to factor the parentheses again. Now as you can see the top factors to x minus 5 and x plus 2. And the bottom part factors to x minus 5 and x plus 5. Now just like we did with our fractions we're going to reduce those that function. As you can see, the 2's will be able to cancel out and the x minus 5's will also be able to cancel out. So when we put this down, I'm left with x plus 2 over x plus 5. Now, when you're simplifying down rational functions, if you looked at the last video when we were looking at the domain of rational functions, you have to keep the domain there. And even though we've taken something away from the function in the last one, my domain is really only x my equals negative or does not equal negative 5. However, my initial function had another restriction, and that was that x plus 5 does not equal positive 5. So I've got to keep both of those there for my domain. One of them is going to end up giving you a vertical asymptote, the other one is going to end up giving you a whole. However, they're both parts of the domain, so you need to actually keep that. The nice thing is, since we're simplifying rational functions, we're going to be actually factoring it all out, and that makes coming up with my domain pretty easy to do. Okay, and that's the video on how to simplify rational functions.